Hi guys, welcome back to Leon Turf. So uh, today I was supposed to uh, weigh our uh, the Worcester we weighed uh, since uh, we started, and then uh, something happened um, to him. He's got like uh, bacteria. Because of the all the rain, maybe uh, he uh, got infected with uh, bacteria with the dirty rain water being outside, and then uh, he's got something in his like uh, crop, like uh, a bloated crop. So uh, uh, before I treated him, I put him on the scale. He was uh, for for week fourteen. He was eleven pound. So I believe right now he's probably losing weight by now because he's under the treatment to uh, for his digestive system. You know, I flush his crops and I flush his crop and uh, give him um, antibiotics and uh, apple cider vinegar and uh, feed him like uh, special food like. Uh, I fed them uh, boiled eggs and uh, yogurt, you know, something that easy to digest so he can recover from that bacteria thing. So he's doing good for now. He's eating, but I just don't want to feed him solid, very solid food. So uh, with that said, um, yeah, I'm trying to say because uh, some uh, of my uh, friends are commenting on uh, you know how the chicken tastes like you know and uh, if they taste like braces you know tell you the truth guys I do not expect them to taste 100% like breasts because after what after all there are 50% breasts and 50% Cornish course so uh, you know, when they ask me, I, I mean, uh, from what I, um, from what I know, you know, when I butcher them early, you know, and when I butcher them early, it's only for like when you try to do a nice rotisserie or bake or something, you know, or barbecue. The meat is very tender at that age. So it's very good to, to do that kind of, you know what I mean, uh, cooking. So, uh, but uh, me, um, most of the time I let them go, you know, until they like, you know, until they like uh, 20, 25 weeks, you know, the meat get a little bit tougher, but very flavorful, you know. And that I cannot make really a difference between these and the breasts. But with that said, guys, I don't really feed them like they feed the breasts. Like uh, finish them up with um, finish them up with uh, milk and um, corn, like they do. You know, I just give them. Uh, kitchen leftovers and um, and uh, kitchen scrap you know what I mean whatever and then being outside and you know what I mean get very flavorful guys so the main reason guys are we do this is not I mean flavor is important but Flavor was never the main goal. You know, what was the main goal uh, uh, was, um, you know, why I picked the American breast is because, you know, till the day, till today, guys, I still think that they're perfect backyard chickens. Reason why is they're growing fast, they mature, mature fast, and they lay early. You know what I mean? 
and you get a good amount of meat you know what i mean after like 18 weeks based on their weight you know what i mean thinking about five pound hen and seven pound rooster you know what i mean and they do have like very small bones but i think they're the perfect you know what i mean chicken you know what i mean for this reason and then come the Cornish course, which is like the base of the meat birds. So I said that if I cross them both, you know what I mean? I get like right in the middle. And this is what we've got, guys. Cornish course, you know what I mean? Uh, these, they're like three weeks back of a Cornish course. But at the same time, you know, the, the, they do have the same breast quality like colors and uh they start laying early also you know these these are things we got i mean we get from the american breast when the size you know and i think that the more like cornish course in size than american breast so this is the reason why we uh we do this we didn't do it because we want to get like a not a bigger uh breast which is not true in any way because they mixed with cornish course you know i mean there'll never be a chew uh american breast so this is the reason guys we do this and uh and I don't raise these like American breasts. I don't feed them like American breasts. I just feed them normally like normal chickens. And uh, I just feed them a lot of, uh, not just grains, but a lot of kitchen stuff, like whatever food we eat and leftover and they eat them and I think it's real good for them. So uh, this is it guys. And, uh, you know, if you don't raise, really, the American breast, because, the, I mean, for some people, you think that the, that thing that American breasts have good flavor. Yes, they do. But that flavor didn't come without anything. It's not like in the body, the flavor is there. No. Uh, in France, they, uh, they have to raise it. They say that it's best. Even in France, if you don't if you don't raise them in a city of breasts, they don't consider real breasts. They're missing something in terms of flavors, because um, uh, that region of breasts they have some type of uh, different kind of humidity, different kind kind of uh, you know temperature, you know to um, that. You know what I mean? That has the chickens like, you know what I mean? That they give the meat a different texture and a flavor. Also, they feed them like the, the, the corn and milk, you know, not just for flavor, but it's also keep the uh, feathers, you know what I mean, very white. So that's what they said. So here, guys, uh, I mean, uh, if you just feed them like a uh, uh, like, uh, normal layer, you know, uh, layer feeds and everything, uh, I don't think you will get whatever it was supposed to do. Um, but you have to go further than that. And also the environment is important. That's why they said that if you don't raise them in the city, of breast friends I mean you don't really get the flavor that they're supposed to so with that said guys yes we raise them but it's for two reasons only we pick the breast it's for the early maturity and early laying and we pick the Cornish course is for uh, fast growing so and then I think we end up got both of these 
uh so uh this is it guys let me go ahead and quit let me go ahead and show you quickly our uh, Worcester is in a very different place because I don't want to mix him with the Here, here it is with the other one because um, this is his other buddy right there. He's got the same thing too. So with his treatment, I have to keep him separate because I don't want him to eat whatever I feed the other ones. Uh, um, they, they, they want to eat uh, the other food. I mean, they're not looking sick, but I know what the, they cannot digest the food. The food cannot go through their body. It stays in the crop. So I have to just give him like very small portion and also feed him like, uh, um, I feed him boiled eggs and yogurt just to keep the digestive system you know, I mean, light and uh, easy to digest. So, you know, also, that I also kept two of his brothers here. And uh, they're quite big also. They're all big. They're like nine, nine to nine and a half pounds. So I didn't weigh him because, you know, and it don't don't make any sense because I never weighed him for you guys before. So, yes, yeah, so uh, this is it, guys. So you know why, you know the reason why, because, you know, I mean, for all of you who th who focus who think that they made even if they look like boys, but I don't expect them to taste like boys. But I also believe that if you feed them right, you feed them the right, um, you raise them like boys, uh, you probably end up getting the boys. Uh, the boys taste. But, like I said, I never fed them like braces, you know, because uh, I don't feed them. I never finish them with, um, with, uh, I never finish them like uh, with corn and milk and everything. I just, uh, with time, I just feed them with uh, kitchen scraps and leftovers you know and combine with layers with layer feeds so this is it guys all right uh so uh please like and subscribe and uh, uh i'll see you next week for the next update thank you